Welcome back to 843 TV. We are now joined by Liz Nash, Mindy Hopman, and Will Warheide. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. And we're here at the middle school uh, gym, is that right? That's what you call where we are here? The middle school gym. And Liz, uh, you probably know this place pretty well. You're the uh, lower and middle school athletic director here at Hilton Head Prep, is that right? I am. Can you tell us a little bit about the athletic program for the lower and middle school Yes, the, um, the middle school program um, encompasses uh, what, what, I, what I think sets us apart from a lot of the other middle school programs, I would say, is that uh, everybody participates. There are no cuts. Um, so there's a place for everybody, um, regardless of your experience or not. So we have a number of teams. We had four basketball teams in uh, this past winter. Um, and four, four basketball teams. Four basketball teams, <laughs> yes. So we create a lot of opportunity. So it's a great place for our kids to learn a sport, really. And um, we, we also encourage our coaches to actually have them play, not just make the team, but actually get them in the games. Um, right. So it's a great opportunity for kids to learn a sport that maybe they never had exposure to. Absolutely. And be part of a team. Yep. Be a part of a team. That's a big part of, you know, growing up, isn't it? Learning how to play, participate as a team member. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I've heard something about an IM Prep Award. Can you tell us about what the IM Prep Award yes, is? Yes. We're really proud of that. About four years ago, we came up with a, with a thought that um, the biggest part of sports um, is character development. Yes. And um, so we came up with the I Am Prep slogan. And what that is is uh, about twice during the sports season, a coach recognizes two, three kids on the team who really exemplify those things of being uh, coachable, a good teammate, sportsmanship, things like that. Really has not as much to do with their athleticism, but who they are as a person. Kids are really, really proud of it. Um, they wear it to school. Um, and you can get it more than once. It's, hopefully, you get it every season, and you play all three sports. You know, all sure. three sports during the season. And then we also have at the end of the year, a rising, uh, graduating eighth grader can be elected into the I Am Prep Hall of Fame. Very cool. So it's all about character development. Absolutely. And we're sitting. I'm sitting next to an, an, an I Am Prep Award winner. Will you've won that award a couple of times? Is that yes, right? Yes, I have. I've won it. Uh, one in sixth grade and two in seventh grade. Very cool. And you're an eighth grade student here now, yes. right? Yes. Yes. And, and uh, what sports did you play as a se sixth, seventh, and eighth grader? In sixth grade, I played basketball and soccer. In seventh grade, I played basketball and soccer again. And this year, I tried football. Okay. And basketball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so, what does it mean to you to be a to an I Am Prep Award winner? Uh, it's an honor to be an I Am Prep Award winner. A lot of kids get it, but it means a lot. Uh, I Am Prep Award winner is a student athlete who can play athletics but then again have good grades and can keep up in school and manage both. Very cool. Congratulations. Thank you. Keep it up. Thanks. <laughs> now, Mindy, you are a, an English teacher Correct. here at the school. Yes. You're also a curriculum coordinator. Correct. And a yearbook coordinator. Yes. You've got a, a little bit on your plate. <laughs> is that right? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. I understand that last year you started the program called Bold Gold. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that program? Bold and Gold stands for Boys Outstanding Leadership Development and Girls Outstanding Leadership Development. It's actually a transitional program that we do for our eighth grade students to help them bridge the gap between eighth grade and ninth grade. Okay. And um, that's a pretty big jump, isn't it? Going, it is. You're kind of like a, a senior of the middle school and you're yes. jumping back into the... <laughs> as I see Will shaking his head. He's preparing to make that jump yourself. Yes, Will's been a part of the, the Bold and Gold experience. Okay. And um, we meet three times during the eighth grade year. The first time we really focus on teamwork and team bonding to bring the eighth grade class together. The second time we focus on service. So um, do you want to tell about, talk about the service project that we did? The last service project that we did for our last bone gold is we made birthday boxes or Christmas boxes for the um, the, the sandalwood food pantry, food pantry mm -hmm. uh, community and we filled them with food and toys and cards and cake mix so that they could have a good time and it really it, it was fun it was a lot of fun we built the boxes and then we were going to take them over there, but we got shut out by rain. <laughs> right, yes. yeah. So giving back to the community. Something exactly. Like, you know, providing and, service. And then the third part for Bold and Gold will be breaking through your fears into your goals. And we really encourage the students to um, remember who they are as they transition. We bring in guest speakers, and we bring in um, our headmaster to speak to them, and so that they get to know um, 
they get to know the headmaster, they also get to know the, uh, really, to really dig into who they are, and then they also get to know some upper school students. Right. So we involve a whole group of upper school students to help us with the Bold and Gold experience, and we play games and do a lot of bonding activities together. Absolutely. So we're talking a lot about some of the extracurricular opportunities yes. available to students here at Hilton yes. Head Preparatory School, and how important that is to developing a, a well-rounded student. Absolutely. I mean, and Liz, you've got to see this, you know, year after year, how, how much that can change a student's outlook and interaction with their other students, right? I mean, just participating in a team sport can go a long way. Absolutely. I think it's uh, a huge part. It's a, it's a big altar for who you become as a person. Yeah. And, uh, and it carries, I want to say, uh, with Mindy's program, my son yes. actually comes back and, and yes. speaks as a graduate, speaks to the um, eighth graders. Yeah. Um, so it's all, it, all of this is really tied in and very important to the mission of the, uh, of the program, of the right. middle school program. And he really talks about things that he wishes that somebody would have told him right. as he's trained. And that's right. what our upper school <laughs> students focus on as well. Yeah. But as far as the sports go, um, I've really seen as an English teacher that um, camaraderie that takes place on the court or the field mm -hmm. really transfers into the classroom, wouldn't you agree? It really transfers into the classroom because they become friends, they work well together, they're teammates, and that's also also plays into the gold gold experience. The gold and gold and the athletics, it's all just it all just brings you together. I mean, it's it's so special because at prep everybody plays so everybody can be a part of the team and then with the bold and gold it's just it's it it's such a force, you know. Mm -hmm. Every there's not one person at this school that I don't know their name right. or I'm not friends with. You know, it's Ab special. Absolutely. Yes. That's fantastic stuff. Liz, Mindy, Will, thank you very much for joining us today. Our pleasure. Thank you. And thank you for watching 843 TV, where communities come to speak.